what you're doing at. Repairing walls, darn kids. <laughs> Anyone else have that problem? Kids grabbing firecrackers and lighting them off in their room? I'm <laughs> just kidding, they don't do that. We don't have any. They're illegal in Minnesota. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Matt and I, we have just been so busy, not even with work, we've just been busy, so many things to do. The kids are getting ready to start school, so we thought this was a great time to just, you know, redo their rooms and clean them up a bit. So we're getting ready to do some painting in one of the kids' rooms. Matt is getting ready to do some painting. Yeah, I don't know where the we is. <laughs> got a turd in her pocket. <laughs> I'll keep the kids away. <laughs> but yeah, that's a... Uh, what we're up to today. Mm-hmm. A lot of patching. These walls have a lot of dings in them. They've seen better days. Yeah, they've been loved. <laughs> <laughs> some feed for the bees so I think I'm gonna take you with to feed the bees until that stuff spatter is all dry in their room I go back in that and guess what Sarah's doing so Matt found a new bread recipe that he made the other day and it was so delicious that I am going to make a couple batches today he was able to utilize all that homemade bread and make some French toast for the freezer kids are going back to school Christmas season will be here soon and we're gonna be busy so we're just trying to get our freezer full of homemade things so we feel better at busy season that we're eating that frozen stuff as opposed to going to the store and buying that frozen stuff <laughs> So that it can rise but I'm a little behind on laundry because we have had a lot of rainy days which is great and we don't have our new dryer yet we actually ordered it today so it's going to be here at the end of next week but until then I'm a little behind on laundry and I don't have any clean dishcloths so I did use some plastic wrap I'm hoping that works out all right life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down and yes, I did that in my Crocs and in shorts. So I'm sure somebody is questioning why I am making bread with yeast in it because I have my sourdough starter. Yes, I still have my starter. And yes, it's still doing well. And yes, we're still using it for bread. But I haven't been super great about remembering to feed it every day. And I've ended up getting kind of some 
hard layers on it when I forget about it. So I'm trying to do better about remembering to feed it. And when I do that, we get bread a lot more often. I did end up doubling up these layers to keep it from getting hard and that does seem to help too. So I just have to show you what Matt, Matt made for me. A few years ago, I just needed somewhere to put my canned goods and we had this extra closet is kind of like in an awkward spot of our home that we really don't use. It was originally a coat closet, but it makes no sense to have a coat closet where it is. So um, what he did is he built these shelves for me and over the years, I've kind of learned that I don't really need a ton of spots for the actual canned goods. It ends up being that I need organization for all my jars as they're circulating in and out. So I organized them this week, got all my jars and rings and lids and things organized on these shelves. I also have a lot of storage containers, um, ice cream pails and things and um, extra pans for the freezer for freezer meals and stuff like that. A lot of my fun stuff, my extra crocs. We've got some honey in here. That homemade bourbon vanilla we made and the homemade garlic skate powder is up here and just a couple things. But today, Matt was already kind of working on rooms and stuff. So he went and grabbed some braces and braced this shelf for me where I'm going to be putting some can jars today. It's time I finally get some of this tomato sauce on the shelf we've got. I think 40 jars of tomato sauce right now that we're going to be putting up and hopefully tonight I can at least get some more tomatoes washed and the process of one more batch hopefully started. I don't think I'll get it finished tonight and I'm not sure if I'll film much of it but again more tomatoes. Since this is the first stuff in here for the year it's pretty empty. I took everything out from last year and put it in our pantry so that we eat it. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down Alright painters, is he using proper technique? Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I... Look at that bread, doesn't it look delicious? We are loving this recipe. I will leave a link down below to a video where we got this recipe from because it is really good. See that? All those green lights. We had a big storm the other night and we have been without internet for like three days. So super exciting. Looks like our internet's back on finally. So many things going on today. I feel like we are all over the place, but we're definitely getting ready for back to school. Boys need haircuts. I cut all the boys hair in our house. Actually, Eli and Lydia just got their first haircuts. Their aunt um, used to be a hairstylist, so she cut their hair. I'll probably eventually cut Eli's. I'm not sure about Lydia's yet, and she cuts my hair. I don't cut my own hair. Um, but I've always cut the boys' hair, and it's getting a little out of control. We've got school pictures coming up, so I'm thinking we're going to just cut it to three. Yes. See how it looks? If you hate it, done. we can cut it shorter, but we can't make it longer. Yeah, because it's already cut. Okay, ready? Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through This is my new hair, but it's actually my regular hair after haircuts. It's actually my regular hair. You think it's too short? No, it's my regular hair that it <laughs> It's not new hair. Turn around, let's see the back. Oh yeah, what do you think? I only can't see the front, but it's nice and soft. Feels good. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Try not to the sky is falling down. I'm so sorry if you actually know how to cut hair here and we're watching that. <laughs> I do my best. I learned on that and from uh, just practicing. It is what it is. I 
think about how much money that must save and I think it's kind of outrageous and it's just so such a simple thing. I mean my kids don't have the greatest haircuts. We've tried a, a lot of different styles that they want to try and they don't come out perfectly um, but definitely we're trying our best and it's just like anything you just learn as you go and you get better as you go but I'm just I'm very grateful that we've had the opportunity to learn how to do this just finances alone how much money it's probably saved us over the years when you think about it every I don't know how often boys get their haircuts two to four weeks probably even if you're paying ten to twenty dollars a haircut that's kind of a lot so I got this one wall done first coat I'm hoping to get the whole room done with one coat tonight and it's 9.38. So, we'll see. <laughs> so you may have wondered where the kids are. <laughs> Sleeping in the living room tonight. So I was hoping to get this pizza sauce going tonight, but I didn't. It's getting pretty late and I just wanna get the kitchen cleaned up. So I'm gonna finish coring the tomatoes. That's what I was doing, just um, cutting the cores out and such. And I'll get these in the fridge and then we'll get them blanched skins off and get them going for pizza sauce tomorrow.